Yo, yo, what's up, buddy? How you guys doing? Apa kabar? And selamat pagi. Welcome to WhatsApp channel, the number one channel for you to know how to travel to Bali, how to live in Bali, and condition in Bali now. But we are not in Bali. Look, next to behind me is the white crater. Look, look, let me just there you go. It's pretty white. The whole thing is pretty big, also. We call it Kawat Put. Oh, sorry. We call it Kawah Putih. It's a white crater. Oops. I need to fall down. <laughs> um, we're gonna try to fly the drone if it's allowed, but we'll see. <laughs> we're both walking on the uh, what you call that? Bridge. Bridge, but floating bridge, huh? Yeah. This is a floating bridge. So when we walk, it's shaking. It's kind of shaking, and we are in the middle of uh, the crater. Look, see. We are in the middle of crater. Is it crater? How you say it? crater? Crater. Crater. There you go. Crate. This white crater is in the west of Java. To be exact, close to Bandung. To get here from Bali, it's about one an hour flight. So what do you need to fly domestic in Indonesia? To be honest, you don't need anything. All you need is the ticket. You don't need the application. They don't. They're not gonna ask you about the vaccine certificate. You just need the ticket and you need the passport to check that the ticket is yours that's, that's all, it's really easy the airplane ticket cost is about 700,000 Indonesian rupiah so about 50 US dollars one way Bandung to here is about 1 hour and 45 minutes if it's by car and as you guess you come up here like early in the morning this place is open at 7.30 in the morning so as you guess you go like 6 o'clock from Bandung just grab breakfast here because otherwise if you're a bit too late the traffic is crazy man from Bandung to up here and then at 7.30 8 o'clock the entrance ticket <laughs> And then the entrance ticket, and the entrance ticket is about sixty thousand Indonesian rupiah. How much? Sixty thousand? Four dollars. Like four dollars, yeah, correct. Four dollars. Marvel and my wife in white crater. Yeah, it's the first time also for us to come here. Yeah, we have to cross the floating bridge again. So what do you think, Marvel? Crossing the floating bridge. Fun and terrifying. And we, and below us is the crater. I'm gonna run. The what? No, don't run. <laughs> so maybe I have to tell you something before it become. Before it become the great white crater, used to be a mountain. It's called Patuha Mountain. Yeah, it used to be a, a big mountain over here. And then after explosion and everything, eruption, and it become the white crater. There you go. That's a background story about it. Wait, wait, wait. I have to stop this. I have to stop this because I have an important news to tell you all. Yes, we were in a white crater. It's about two hours from Bandung, the capital city of West Java. Well, it depends on the traffic really. If you like go early in the morning, maybe it only takes you like one and a half hour. Anyway, anyway, I have to stop the video because I have an important news to tell you guys. Yesterday, I received a signed official letter about onshore visa. Well, let me tell you a little bit about the background of the onshore visa. Onshore visa, that means the visa that you can apply while you are already in Bali, while you're already in Indonesia. That's why we call it onshore. If it, you're still in your country, we call it offshore. Back during the pandemic, like in 2020, to avoid tourists or foreigners who stuck in Bali that because they couldn't go back to their country, so they wouldn't overstay. The government of Indonesia issued an onshore visa so the foreigners can apply or extend their visa again and again until the pandemic over. The foreigners can just renew it again and again as many as they want. But now since the pandemic is over on the 7th of June last week as a matter of fact the government issued this letter. Can you see it? This letter. Oh sorry. There you go. There you go. The, the government issued this letter, okay? This letter is about the onshore visa. In that letter, the government said due to the end of the pandemic, so due that pandemic is over, the government said there will be no more onshore visa. No more. So like b 2 visa, foreigners cannot renew that visa onshore while they're here already. So soon, for the B211A visa holder, they have to leave Indonesia within 180 days, six months. Right now, at the moment, since the pandemic, when they arrive at their 180 days, 
six months, they can just renew it. We call it onshore, and then they got a new period of 180 days, and so on and so on. But soon, because of this letter, foreigners, the B2 and visa holder, can only stay until 180 days, and then they have to leave. Indonesia and then they have to apply again offshore so they're not in Indonesia maybe they're in Singapore waiting or something to get the new B211 A visa and then they can come back here and live here up to 180 days of course they have to extend it every 60 days but okay you told us that we can stay for even a year with the B211 visa yes it's true correct I told you that I even asked the government the immigration before I told you that but yesterday to be exact, 7 of June, they issuing this letter, which means that no more renewing, no more onshore B211 visa. So 180 days max, then you have to leave. So sorry, I wish I could change that, but I'm not the government. So I'm so sorry, again, no one knows this, no visa agency know this, but I tell you now that soon, you cannot extend, or to be exact, you cannot renew your B211 visa. So maximum only 180 days, six months. That's it. I'm so sorry. But that's why I tell you in advance, so you can prepare. So don't forget to share this video so more and more people, especially the B211 visa holder, know about this news that they cannot stay over 180 days because they cannot renew their B211 visa soon. Mm -hmm.